750 KTRS. He is the county executive of uh, St. Louis County. His man, the man's name is Steve Stanger, been on the show numerous times. Good morning, Mr. Stanger. Hey, McGraw. Good morning. How are you? We're doing good. Let's first talk about this uh, audit, the second phase of your county government's audit. What's going on? Well, the, the second phase is now complete. Um, you know, as, as, as you may know, we have a, about a, we have about a $680 million budget. So we are, uh, we are a county that serves a million people. And, uh, we had our audit, our, our audit took about eight months because of the, uh, size of our government serving a million people. And, uh, the results have been very interesting to say the least. And we were able to save quite a bit of money. You're an accountant by trade, so I, this may be more interesting to you than to some of us. But give us some of the highlights. <laughs> well, I, I can give you some things that I think would be interest to ta- of interest to taxpayers for sure. Um, you know, just recently, one of the things that we uncovered as a result of our work on the audit was that we have a jail. I'll give you some examples here. A jail food service contract. Uh, multiple contracts in the jail food service area that were costing taxpayers $2.5 million. And um, people should know we have about 15,000 people that move through our St. Louis County Jail per year, and it costs quite a bit of money to uh, feed and house those individuals. One of the items is food. As I said, $2.5 million. Um, We were able to locate uh, a much better way, or I should say determine a much better way of providing that food service. And so we're able to provide that food service for $1.8 million, which results in a $620,000 savings on food per year. Take that over 10 years, that's that's $6.2 million, which is quite a bit of money. Um, another thing that we did is we have juvenile uh, kids that run through our juvenile system. And um, as a result, in some cases, require residential uh, care, residential treatment um, for a number of different issues. Um, we were providing that service before I became county executive at a cost of about $3.4 million. Um, we have a building that we were um, providing as a home for those kids. This is also pursuant to state statute that we do provide service in this regard. But we had a, a home that was in disrepair. Uh, was going to cost money to you know make those improvements and make those repairs. We were able to go to an outside agency, an excellent agency, Mary Grove, and have that same service that cost us three point four million dollars with all that infrastructure. Now just two million dollars on a yearly basis for a savings of one point four million dollars. And if you take that over ten years, fourteen million dollars saved. So it's it's quite a bit um, that we were able to able to tackle there. Yeah. Uh, Steve Stanger, was there anything, and that's that's interesting, was there anything that you found fraud or, you know, the old famous, you know, $900 for a hammer or a outdated program that you were still spending millions on, anything like that that you found? Well, there we have an ongoing, currently an ongoing investigation that was, result, that was the result of the things that we found. I can't get into exactly what that is right now, but it's being investigated, and, um, it's a significant matter and it existed. It predated, you know, me coming, uh, me coming on as St. Louis County executive, but uh, we're investigating it right now. So I can't really get into the exact nature of that, but it uh, might be sort of what you're talking about. Gotcha. So you're saying that you might have uncovered some type of fraud and when you're able to uh, disclose it, you will. Yes, if absolutely. Will. Yes, okay. we will. All we right. certainly will. But well, the other thing, yeah, we were, uh, sorry, the other things we were able to do through the audit were to really, tighten up our controls in different departments. You know, one of the things that we noted um, was that we had significant, what looked like significant double payments. Um, the job of the auditor in the second part of the audit, and the, audit, the auditor, by the way, was Brown Smith Wallace, who did a great job there, a regional CPA firm. Um, I've been a CPA for about 20-some-odd years. They have an excellent reputation in the field. They did a great job. One of the things that they, that they did was... Uh, uh, go through duplicate payments. There were quite literally tens of millions of dollars of duplicate payments. And um, they were, frankly, just recorded wrong over the years. They went through went through every single payment. They determined that of those tens of millions, there were approximately $11,000 of actual double payments where someone paid twice for a vendor by mistake. And that's, you know, over the course of, of, of several years, they 
you know, that they were looking at, they made that determination. So they had 155,000 exceptions to go through in phase two of the audit that were uncovered during phase one of the audit. And if you think about just that number, that's quite literally decades of accounting issues that they, that they sifted through in the last eight months and um, helped us improve you know, all of our controls, all of our procedures. Um, it, was, it was an exercise that saved us money and um, was well worth it. Steve Stanger with us, County Executive of uh, St. Louis County. A couple more minutes uh, with you. The MLS stadium has been in the news. It looks like it's going to be on the ballot for the voters to vote on. Your name and the county has come up in numerous conversations on the air and off the air about, hey, why does the city have to handle the whole burden of a regional asset? Um, in the past, the county has helped build other stadiums, given loans and so on and so forth. Do you see the county throwing any money in or doing anything to sort of help this MLS possibly come to fruition? Well, well let me say this, and, 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 I, and the answer to that is that that there will likely be some things that we will be asked to do, and we're going to have to talk about that with our St. Louis County Council. And depending upon exactly what the nature of, of these things might be, um, we may have a vote of people. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but let me start by saying this. We have not been formally asked or requested to assist. And as, as you know, I represent the county, and it's just not something that, you know, it's not something that you really look at conceptually. You look at it on a very practical level, and you make these types of decisions on a very practical level. I'm the steward of the St. Louis County taxpayers' money, and it's not something that we offer to jump into. Um, you know, it, and you know, I, I can't even say that there were proposals that were made that we were even able to consider because we they they just simply weren't made. Um, but we are always happy to consider something that's proposed. Um, and, you know, I think that, uh, you know, good partnerships share in the upside and the downside. Um, you know, in the past, we've been asked to participate in things where we were just asked to share the downside, which was, frankly, the cost of things. And I think as we move into the future, the types of partnerships that the county is going to be interested in entering into are the types of partnerships where we share in the, the upside and the downside. And, you know, with that said, those are sort of the, you know, the, I think those are very reasonable thing to ask for. Uh, but in this case, we weren't even asked to participate. So you haven't had any meetings with any MLS representatives or the group trying to bring the MLS team here, here to St. Louis? Oh, I have had meetings with them. I have had meetings. I have just not. And once again, when I say I, I, I mean the executive branch has right. not been asked to participate. And please remember, we also have a St. Louis County Council, which is the legislative branch. And they would also have to be in those discussions. And to my, you know, to my information, they have not been included in those discussions either. Um, they're actually the individuals who would who would send it to the ballot um, by a vote, seven people, and they have not been approached either. With respect to actual participation, I've certainly had um, calls and uh, meetings with uh, David Peacock and his group, and we've talked about things. We talked about the uh, possibility of a practice facility in the county. We've talked about that. And that those are matters that we've discussed. That would also have to you know, be talked about with the county, the, uh, county council as well. Steve, so uh, yeah. you know, we're, we're in very preliminary discussions about those types of things. But with respect to actual funding of the new stadium, we have not had a formal proposal to, to fund. Steve Stanger, county executive of St. Louis County. Uh, thank you, Mr. Stanger. Have a good day. Thank you. 759, Tim Wyland, St. Louis.